Now, what's up, y'all? Um, I hate that the camera's probably going to run out of battery and I'm going to have to get a different camera to finish this video, but I'm so glad to be back in Adidas territory. No disrespect to Nike, I actually had to change the camera angle so I wouldn't have the three Nike pictures behind here when I'm doing an Adidas video. Um, it's an NMD, y'all. I haven't done an NMD in, oh gosh. Man, I can't remember the last NMD I did. It was probably an STLT, a Prime Net, or something like that, where Adidas just just fell off, man. You know what? I think I did the Berlin. I did the Berlin and the Tokyo. I have to look in the computer. I can't remember. But I did sell a lot of Berlins in Tokyo, so the NMD hasn't been completely just dropped off the map, but Adidas is not what it was a couple of years ago. Three years ago, to be exact. 2017 was when Adidas just kind of dropped off as far as resale. So you haven't seen me doing a lot of Adidas, and I'm excited about this shoe because I think it looks great. And I'm not trying to influence you to buy a pair of Adidas, but it's the NMD underscore R1, and it's the FX4355. It's black, it's core black, core black, um, red, lush red, lush red. Now there's a blue pop in here on the blocks. That's just perfect. I'd rock these. All right, so like I said, style code FX4355. Um, this is a size 10. I won't get into the UPC. Um, I'm sure people may be bootlegging them, but I'm not going to dive into all of that because I'm going to run out of battery and I want you to see this shoe because I may, you know, cut the video short. I want to get to a close-up as well. It does have a sticker. So a QC sticker that reads SHW999 Final. It does have your trefoil, white, crinkly tissue paper on the inside. And man, this is just a great tricolor alternative but more important from Adidas, the idea of getting additional sets of shoestrings. Awesome. I love it. And like I said, I hope my camera doesn't run out while I'm talking and running my mouth and being excited for this NMD. And just as much as people are like, yo, it's too many Jordan 1s. I know that there's a lot of NMDs, man. But when they get it right on the NMD, Adidas nails it. And they got it right on this one. So... This tricolor look with an almost triple black upper mesh at 130, at 130 with additional shoestrings, red and I mean red and blue. And then the blocking, the color blocking on the midsole, which I know is just painted boost. Kudos Adidas. I have to give it up and say kudos Adidas. But let me get to this close-up because I know you guys are probably going to see it because no one really does a whole lot of Adidas shoes. And I'd love to do more, but I am a resale shop. And it sucks, you know, when I can't do a lot of different shoes because they simply don't have any value above retail. This one does. Um, so let's get to it. Move it up close so you guys can see the shoe. And you don't have to hear me talking to look at me. All right. So I'm going to move this up slightly because I want you to look at the color blocking here where it splits. You have black boost. Well, it's painted black boost because we know the outsole and underneath is going to be white. And that continental rubber. Is it continental? No, nah, it's not. I forgot. That's on the ultra boost. But here you have this painted line where the block starts in the back at the heel. Let's go to the hill counter here and you see the red and blue stripe with the three stripes mark going up the hill. And then you have that nice pop of red right there. And of course the blue on the side. And I'm telling you, man, I just I just really like this shoe. I'm gonna show you the front so you can see the logo here where it has the NMD on the low on the tongue. Adidas NMD and a trefoil. The interior we won't worry so much about, but real quick, I'm pulling this out, keeping that in front, because they finally put a complete layer over the inside of the Adidas NMD. And it usually is kind of this web thing and you can see the boost through it. Or I may be, you know, misremembering. So I may be wrong about that. Um, let's drop these shoestrings here. And let's end it with this shot because I'm not trying to sell the shoes for Adidas, but these should get some love, man. It's a nice shoe. That's it. I'm going to wrap it up, and I'll see you guys on the next one. What do you think?
Peace.